What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 50 minute strength and conditioning workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. Welcome to your 50 minute strength and conditioning workout. If you know me, you know I love a good strength and conditioning workout. So I'm very excited to be here with you guys today. We're gonna do supersets, kind of like a boot camp, but it's gonna be a little bit more power based on the strength end. So I'm gonna be using dumbbells probably between my 10 and my 30 pound dumbbells. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The heavier things will do for a snatch. So you will have a snatch in there today. You'll also have a split jerk. Okay, so somewhere between uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 pounds today. But I'll tell you as I go which ones I'm using so you can kind of gauge that way for yourself, okay? Also, make sure you've got some space around you, your sweat towel, your water bottle, and just make sure you're ready to work today, all right? I'm very excited to be here with you. So give me a big thumbs up if you are ready. We're gonna jump right into the warm up and get you started. It's gonna be a great workout today, guys, okay? Give me a big wide stance. Hands are right here at your hips. I just want you to shoot your hips back and hinge in three, two, one. Here we go. Exhale, push. There you go. Just kind of stretch your hamstrings out. Trust me, I'll spend time stretching your legs out. We're gonna work for 40 seconds, 40 to 45 seconds on the strength moves today and 30 seconds on our conditioning moves. So cardio will be a little bit shorter in terms of time but a little bit higher in terms of intensity, okay? Come back into the middle, bring your steps a little bit closer, heels down, nice and slow with those squats. Good, I want you to move just like we'll be moving today. Make sure you're in the middle, especially for anyone that's working on equal strength in your legs, okay? Just take a glance down every now and then to make sure you're not shifted to the stronger side. Okay, back up top. Stretch those quads out, <laughs> mine are still sore. Whew. This week I've been pushing it. As you can probably tell, I'm very excited to be here on our new stage, so maybe I'm dialing it up a little bit. Definitely, definitely dialing it up a little bit. My adrenaline is pushing, pushing me. All right, cross your arms over your chest. There you go. So hopefully you guys are pushing yourself with me. I know it seems like, okay, she's turning it up a notch, and I am, but there's always a good time to remind yourself, okay, if we have that capability, we definitely need to step it up, right? Come on back to the back of your mat, hinge down, and we're gonna walk it out halfway, just to a pike. Okay, pedal your heels down so you get a good calf stretch. There you go. Try to get down heels and then push, push, push a little further down in your heel so you can not only get your heel but also your soleus or your calf in your soleus. Good job. All right, walk your hands back to your toes. No inchworms, don't worry. <laughs> Big wide stance, lean over. Come back up. There we go. Get the core involved. There we go. Beautiful. Keep breathing or start your breathing if you haven't been thinking about it yet. Good, come back to the middle. Let's rotate, twist, twist. Great job, all right. I'm gonna grab my 15 pound dumbbells, okay? We're gonna start with Hinge, floor tap, curl, and press. Wide stance, I'm gonna hinge back. Tap, curl, press. Okay, so grab your dumbbells. Come with me in four, three, two, one. 45 seconds, let's go. Hips go back, back stays flat, okay? Squeeze your glutes, come forward, curl, press. <sighs> Give me that glute power. I'd rather you stop, get set up, versus just go tap, swing, okay? Stop, core tight, back flat, then power through. Good job. Good work. Give me about 10 more seconds. We'll go to a cardio. Beautiful, seven, six. There we go, two, one. 
Good, dumbbells up. Your cardio, we've got a high knee, knee drive with the skip, okay? So you're gonna go knee drive, knee drive. Clap under right here. If you wanna move side to side, you can. 30 seconds, here we go. Two, one, let's go. Drive, drive. Modification, stay on the floor right here. Touch right underneath. Good. All right, 15 more seconds. Good, getting the heart rate up a little bit. Six, five, two, one. Good, we're back. Hinge, curl press. Now if you can go heavier, I'm gonna go up to my 20s. Okay, you wanna make sure this is power oriented, not just swing and flow, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Good, stop and touch, drive, there you go. Beautiful, heels have the weight. Dig them down, push those hips. Beautiful, you're strong today. You're strong every day, but I'm gonna remind you today, you are strong. 15 seconds, touch. Good work. Six, five, two, one, rest, good. Dumbbells out of the way. High knee drive, doing okay? All right, clapping right underneath. In four, big deep breath. Two, one, let's go. Beautiful, keep it up. Now give me the intensity here. You can easily coast through this one, right? La, la, la. Give me that intensity. Pull, push, pull, push. Good, seven, come on. Three, two, one, breathe, good job. One more time with the strength move and then we're moving on. Okay, if you wanna go heavier, you can. 40 seconds here. It's five seconds shorter, okay? So, if you can adjust those weights up, give me that, okay? Two, one, let's go. 40 seconds of work. Great job, power through. Exhale as you drive your hips forward. Nice work, come on. Ten, nine. Three, two, one. Rest and throw them back up. 30 seconds of those high knee clap unders. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Right here for 30. And then we're moving on to a new set. Good job. Got the whole body warmed up. Right? <laughs> Good job. 15 seconds. Come on. Seven, six, up, up. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Take 30 seconds, grab some water. You're gonna go for a lateral lunge and high row. I'm gonna start with my 20. Just give me one, okay? We're taking it really wide here, okay? Have the dumbbell in my left hand going to the right. I'm sitting down in my right glute row, okay? First 25 or 22 seconds going this way, second 22 on this one, okay? Here we go in 10 seconds. Are you ready? Grab that dumbbell. We're sitting to the right. Dumbbell is in the left. Okay, three, two, one. Sit it down, pull, reset. Sit, pull, reset. Good, butt goes backwards. So from the side, make sure you're not just going here. 
You're sitting back, push forward. Good, all right, now switch it over. Going to the other side. Good, so round two, we'll just go that way. Round three, we'll just go this way. Okay, first round, split it up just so you kind of get a warm up for both sides. Seven. There you go, four, three, two, one. Dumbbell down. Your cardio is a jumping jack, cross punch, okay? So you're gonna go one jumping jack here, cross, punch that arm to the knee. Open, cross, open, cross. Okay, stay on the ground if you need to, right here. Let's go. Good, pull that fist in and out, boom, boom. There you go, 15. Ten, seven, six, three, two, one, breathe. Good job. One dumbbell. You're just going lunge to the right, pull with the left. Okay, the side that we started on. Okay, so you're going to sit, pull, reset. Okay, ready? Let's go. Sit. Give me some good power out of this leg too, okay? Great job. Make sure your hip comes back forward too. So don't just come here and pull, okay? You're coming here, full extension. Beautiful, 14. Come on, strong shoulder, strong back here. Four, three, two, one. Yes, good. Okay, move this guy to the side. 15 seconds. Jumping jack, cross punch again. Big deep breath. Let's go in two, one, and okay, go. I knew one of my shoes felt loose. <laughs> 30 seconds, boom, come on. Good, 15, come on. Seven. Three, two, one, good. Last round, we're lunging to the left. Pulling with the right arm. All right, here we go. A weight that challenges you, right? Four, three, two, one, let's go. Sit, reset. Make sure, I've done this before, make sure your hips aren't dipping on this side. Keep them even and sit, okay? It sounds, like, yeah, of course, Sydney, but I noticed when I watch video back, I can tend to dip the hip a little bit. So, transfer the weight, then sit. Good job, come on, remember, you're strong. I'm gonna keep reminding you of it. Big push. 10 more seconds, come on. That's beautiful. Six. Two, one, good. Okay, throw that dumbbell back. Last round, jumping jack, cross punch, okay? I like this little combo, it's fun. Little switch up to jumping jacks. Two, one, let's go, up, cross. Beautiful, 30 seconds. Remember, intensity is high, right? Good, 15, 14. Seven, six. Three, two, 
One, beautiful. Grab some water. We're gonna go for a Romanian deadlift and row next. And I'm gonna keep both of your feet on the ground, okay? I'm gonna start with my 20 pound dumbbells, okay? Feet are gonna stay normal width apart. I'm gonna take my dumbbells down like I'm shaving my legs. Right down the front, stop at my knee, pull, stand back up, okay? So from the side, looks like this. Hinge, row, and drive. Squeeze here. Don't overextend, just here. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go, hinge down, row, back up. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Do not get here and roll up, okay, and pull here. Long spine, butt is reaching back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, then your glutes together. Good job. Now I know this is more than you can probably maximum deadlift, but we've gotta think of everything that's in play right now, okay? A stagnant stop at the bottom is a stretch for your glutes and a hold position for your low back. So keep that in mind. Two, one, great job. Your cardio, Whew. big deep breath. <laughs> jumping jack, knee drive. Okay, so we're gonna go jumping jack, step, drive. Jumping jack, step, drive. Okay, ready, let's go. Just drive off of the right foot. Back down, step, drive. Thirteen, good. Come on, ride that knee up. Good. Three, two, one, breathe. Good job. If you can go heavier, let's go heavier. Your low back, keep your low back strength in mind. It's not just a deadlift. It's a deadlift, stop, pause, and add an upper body move to it. So, stay safe. Three, two, one. One, let's go. Hinge. Good. Keep your chin just neutral. You don't need to be here or here. Keep it right here, neutral position. Beautiful, 15 seconds. You're doing great, come on. Seven. Three, two, one, good. Dumbbells to the side, or you can throw them back if you plan on going heavier or lighter next round. Jumping jack, take the left foot, drive right knee, okay? Six seconds, you're doing great. Great job. You need to stay on the floor, step, drive. Let's go. Whoops, wrong leg. <laughs> Step, drive. Can you tell my other foot is my jumping foot? <laughs> Anyone else that's ever played volleyball, basketball, been a jumper of any kind? You know, one foot feels right, one foot feels wrong. <laughs> this is my wrong foot. Six, five, two, one. Great job. Last round, you've got 15 seconds. Are you gonna go up? If yes, Grab it, 45 seconds, okay? Low back, strong. At no point should your back be here. Okay, last round, let's go. Keep it strong. You do not need to go speedy on this, you need to go strong on this. Beautiful. How's your breathing? Check in with it. Breathe in. Come on. Mentally, you're right here. You're a beast right now. Come on, 15 seconds. Four, three, 
two, one, rest. Good job, throw those dumbbells back. Now we're taking the jumping jack out of the equation. You step drive left, step drive right. So you're here, boom, boom, switch. Ready? Two, one, let's go for 30, come on. Good. Ride that knee up, let it carry you. Try not to get here and just jump back to the floor. Step, go with it. There you go, full extension off the toe. Come on, nine. Get a little higher, five. Three, two, one. Breathe. Third circuit down. Grab some water. Okay, so I mentioned to you I was gonna stay from 10 to 20 pounds. I'm gonna go down to my lighter weights now. So grab the weights that are your lighter weights, whatever that is to you, three pounds, 15, whatever it is. I'm gonna go with 10. Okay, I've got forward lunge, front raise. I know you're like, God, shoulders again. But I'm gonna take this with the momentum here, okay? So you're gonna step it out, forward lunge, raise, back, push. Okay, so you can do it at the bottom. If you need to modify, I want you to step out, step back up, then raise, okay? Just separate the two if you need to, all right? Here we go, five seconds, grab your weights, whatever works for you. Three, two, one, let's go. Step, pause at your chest, push back up. Now switch legs. So you're kind of sitting here in this pause position. Hips are facing forward, knee is out. Pull your belly button in really hard. Sit, squeeze the abs. There you go, so much easier to hold your balance. Also, try not to step right in front of your other foot, just like you would walking on some railroad tracks, hip width apart, okay? Beautiful, four. Three, two, one, rest. I'm gonna put these out of the way. We've got slide, slide, vertical hop. 30 seconds, starting here. One, two, feet together, hop. One, two, together, hop. Okay, two, one, let's go. One, two, up. Good job, 15, use your arms, scoop up, good. Four, two, one, rest, great job. We're back, lunge, front raise. Doing okay, seven seconds. We'll go back again, the weight has to be controlled. Three, two, one, let's go. Now make sure when you stop back down, you're not going here, okay? Notice the difference. Here and pause, push, versus here, swing stand, okay? Stop them at your hips. When you come back, the weight is here, then you push up. 15. Seven, six, come on. Three, and rest, good. Now keep moving my dumbbells out of the way. You can put them anywhere around you, just make sure you're clear of them when you're moving side to side. I just don't wanna trip. I know my tendencies. <laughs> I know myself as a person. <laughs> Two, one, let's go. One, two, plant hop. Good job. That's it, 15, come on. Breathe, let's go. Four. 
two, one, breathe. Good job, one more round, let's go. Grab those dumbbells. You're doing great. If you need to go down to keep your form, that's fine. Form is everything. Four, three, two, one, let's get it. Take your time here, balance, then lift. Don't make it like I have to do this all at one time. Balance first, engage your core, lift with your shoulders. Now to some people that flow looks a little quicker, doesn't matter, the control is everything. If you can control it at this pace, that's fine. If you can control it at a slower pace, that's fine. It's about your strength today. We can't build strength on a terrible foundation, on a sloppy execution, okay? Five, four, two, one. Beautiful. Done with that move, dumbbells out of the way. Whew. Good job. Two slides and a vertical jump, and then we breathe. Ready? Two, one, let's go. One, two, step up. Now, if you're modifying, I'm sure you've caught this by now, but reach, sit, over, over, okay? Give me that intensity for 15 seconds. Eight, seven, come on. Three, one more, two, one, and breathe. Amazing job. Water break, water break. Whew. All right, breathe, you're doing amazing. Good, I'm breathing with you. It's my, my other breath is very real as well. So, slowing it down here a little bit for the next one. I'm gonna take one dumbbell that I feel comfortable doing a tricep overhead extension in a curtsy lunge, okay? If you're like, more lunges, what in the world is wrong with her? We're almost done with them, I promise. Okay, so take this dumbbell, place your hands around the top part of it so your palms are facing the ceiling like you're about to raise the roof, right? Right here, cradle that top part, okay? Two options, you can sit, bend, extend, or if you don't feel comfortable with that, go up and down, bend, extend, okay? So wherever you're comfortable, we'll go in 10 seconds. All right, alternating left, right, left, right. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. Sit, bend. So basically on this one, when your knees bend, your elbow bends, elbows bend. Not just one, both of them. <laughs> Good job. Both knees are bending, you're sitting in that front heel. If this is uncomfortable for you, give me a regular reverse lunge, okay? Either way, sit and tricep extension. Beautiful. Breathe, six, five, three, two, one, good. Dumbbell out of the way. Woo. Okay, next move is a standing one knee drive, four punches. Looks like this. Drive, one, two, three, four. Drive, one, two, three, four. Drive, okay? <sighs> two, one, let's go. Drive, four. Drive. Good, four and bring it right up to your two punching arms. Whoops. <laughs> Seven. Three, two, one, breathe. <sighs> We're back. Overhead extension, curtsy lunge. I'm with you, you're doing great. By the way, we're well over halfway through this workout, so let's go. Three, two, one, sit it down. Good, core tight, hips face forward. Try.
Try not to twist your hips too much. A lot of times people will go here and their curtsy lunges. I need you to be here, okay? And then sit. 15. Eight, seven, I know it's burning, me too. Two, one, great job. Whew. Okay, moving out of the way, I know that one starts to burn quickly. We're back, four punches, four punches, and knee drive. Three, two, let's go. Four, three, two, one, ha, there we go. Good. Breathe. There you go. 15. Seven. Two, one. Great job. Last round. I know the triceps are on fire. Me too. Whew. Last round here. Come on, we got this. I'm with you. You can see me pushing myself. I want you to do the same. Let's go. Great job. Think about why you're here. Think about your strength. Think about how strong you would be if you did not doubt your strength. Ooh, that hits a lot of us, right? I'm stronger than I think. Keep saying that. This is nothing. It's all how you talk to yourself. 15 seconds. Come on, you've got this. You can do this for 10. Right here, nine. Six. Four, three. And rest. Woo! Yowchies. Dumbbell up. Four punches. And a knee trap. You're doing great. Big deep breath. There we go. Two, one, let's go. That's it. Four drive, punch with the same side first. 15. 10. Four, three, one more, two, one, rest. Breathe. I'm breathing right along with you. Stay with me here, breathe. 45 seconds rest. All right. Big deep breath. Your next move, single leg deadlift, hammer curl. Okay, so imagine this is my dumbbell. Same side, I'm gonna take that leg back, stagger it. Okay, we're going down, step and curl. Down, step and curl. Front leg has all the weight. Okay, so your hammer curl weight is what you're gonna judge on. Not necessarily your deadlift, the hammer curl weight, okay? I take my left arm, my left leg. Left leg goes back, I hinge. When I come up, I curl. Okay, let's go together in three, two, one. Here we go. Good. Good. I know I'm here. I'm quiet on this one. I'm just trying to breathe. Squeeze here. Back is flat. That's it. 15 more seconds. Good job. 10. Four, three, two, one. Dumbbell out of the way. Let's move everything off the sides of your mat. Okay? We're gonna go slide, slide, plank hop, or burpee without your belly touching the ground. So you're here, boom. Boom, slide, boom, boom. Okay, 
Ready? Let's go. Slide to the side, hands down and up to modify. Step back, step up. Okay, slide, step back, step up. 15, come on. Seven, six. Two, one, good. Okay, single leg deadlift, hammer curl with the right arm now. Right leg goes back. <sighs> right arm curls. Ready? Three, big deep breath. Let's go. Level hips, flat back. So make sure you're not going here. Okay, hips open, keep them flat. Curl up, good job. Woo. I know, I'm out of breath too. Give me lots of power in that left glute, come on. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Now, put this dumbbell back. We're gonna do the burpees, and then we're gonna go down five pounds and do both together, okay? So last round will be here and curl, okay? Slide burpees, ready? Two, you got this, come on, positive mindset. Let's go. There you go, push. That's it, you can do this, come on. 15 seconds. Think of how many people right now are working out with you. Aside from me, thousands of people all over the world are rocking rep for rep with you. Let's go with your team. Two, one, breathe. Last round, I'm going down to my 20s. I'm deadlifting, close stance. Hinge back, stand, curl. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. Slight bend in the knees. Make sure you're not swinging, you stand, then engage. Keep your elbows pointed down, curl, extend. Good, let's go, let's go. 10 more seconds. Six, four, two, one, rest. Okay, move these out of the way, let's go. 15 seconds into our last round. Slide, plank hop, AKA burpee. But plank hop might sound better right now. Three, two, one, let's go. Good job, breathe with me. Come on, 15, let's go. Work, work. Eight, seven. Four, two, one. 45 seconds rest. <sighs> Grab your dumbbells, put them back. This is part of your breathing time. Big deep breath. Okay, grab some water. Whew. Let's see what we've got next. Oh, you might actually be able to use those same dumbbells. Split jerks. It's mostly upper body. Okay, if you've never done a split jerk before, I'm gonna use my 20s. Deep breath as I talk myself into it. Okay, basically all we're doing it's giving a little dip to get your dumbbells ending up here. The split comes in your landing. So you're gonna dip, punch, and just separate your legs, okay? They are hip width apart, they're not here. So from the front, dip, punch. Stand back together, lower, okay? 
Start with a weight that you know you can control. In two, one, let's go. Now breathe in and tighten your core before you dip. So we're here. Okay. The point of the dip is to get under the dumbbells as you start the push. It doesn't matter which leg goes out front. There we go. 15 seconds. Beautiful. Eight, seven, four, two, rest. Great job. All right, cardio, heel taps. Little, little dial back. We're here, here, low impact. Here, here, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Dial it down here. Okay, level one, level two, level three. Wherever you're at today, go there. 15 seconds. Good job. Seven, six, three, two, one, breathe. Can you go up? Do you feel confident in your split jerk? If yes, let's go up. We've got three rounds, so you can go up in round two, round three. Let's go, technique is everything. Two, one. Good job. Stabilizing that landing. Breathe. Good job. Come on, 15 seconds left. Stabilizing your core as well. Seven. Three, two, rest. Great job. Heel taps. Woo. You're doing amazing. Ah, shoulders are burning for me too. I know. Hands up, tap those heels. In three, two, one, let's go. Good, breathe here. That's beautiful, come on. You're doing amazing. Give me 10 more seconds. We've got one last round of that, okay? Five, three, two, one. Shake your shoulders out. Woo. Last round. Let's do it. Feel good about it, go up. Feel like you're finally getting confident at the weight you just used. Stay there, okay? Let's go, power. Get under those dumbbells. Two, one, let's go. Good. Stabilize, you go right above your shoulders. Now you can see if I lost my balance, I wait until I get my balance, then lower. Okay, that control is everything for us. 15 seconds. Good job. 10. Five. Two, one, and rest. Woo. Come on back to your heel taps. Dumbbells up. We're almost there, guys. Heel taps. Three. Two, one, let's go. Beautiful, come on, touch, touch. Good, 10. Three, two, one, and breathe. 
breathe. My math was bad. Now you're done. <laughs> okay, forgive me for that one. 30 seconds rest. Whew. Good work. All right, water, water, water. We've got hang clean and squat. Now, if you wanna take the squat out, your legs are too sore to function with good form. Just give me the clean, okay? I'm gonna use 20 pound dumbbells for round one, okay? 15 seconds, we'll go together. It's a hinge and catch. So you're back here, feet are wide, hinge, hips pull forward, you catch. If you want, squat. If you don't want, you go back to the hinge, okay? Two, one, hinge it back, power hips. Squat if you would like, reset. Now, if you feel good about that flow, you can sit as you catch, but only if you feel confident, okay? Good job, 15 seconds. Keep those hips coming forward. Four. Three, and rest, good. Now, dumbbells to the side. One heavier dumbbell, snatch, okay? Two power moves here at the end. One, snatch. Start here, full extension, catch, okay? Just this arm. So let's take the right arm first. Two, one, let's go. Good. Shoulders and hips are square, right? Full extension. Good job, come on. 15, 14. Good, put it down. I want you in five seconds to go right to the other arm. Three, two, one, switch arms, let's go. Forty-five, right here. Hips forward, right? Hips come forward. They're back. Dig the heels down. Extend. There you go. Fifteen seconds. Go, go, go. Ten. Five. Two, one, 15 seconds rest. Move it out of the way. One last round of clean and squat if you want. Last round. Last 45 of work. Right here. Here we go in three, two, one. Hinge explode. Catch, sit if you want. If you're not sitting in a squat, you come here. Catch it soft and then right back. Come on, breathe with me. Last half right here. Let's go, I'm with you. You're strong, this is everything right here. Four, three, and rest. Woo. Throw those dumbbells back. You have made it to your cool down. <laughs> Amazing job. Great job with that ending. Go ahead and have a seat. You made it to your cool down, so trust me. You're like, is she serious? Where is she going with this? You're done, you're, you're finished, I promise. Go ahead and have a seat. Come on down. I wanna cool you down here. Throw your feet together. I just want you to relax here for a second, okay? Big deep breaths, fill your lungs up. Exhale, same thing, 
Go ahead and pull yourself rounded back. Okay, normally I'll say keep your back flat. Let your back round for a second. Keep your head gaze up. Okay, keep your head above your heart for a little bit. Beautiful job today. I'm so proud of you. Let's flip it over onto your hands and knees. You still see kind of like some construction dust all over my mat. Construction is actually still going on for the set behind the scenes. So if you see like random pieces of wood, no worries. <laughs> All right, drop your stomach down as you breathe in. Exhale, lift. Again. Exhale, lift. One more time, breathe in. Lift your chin. Exhale, tuck the chin and lift. Scoot your knees back and drop your hips down. Amazing, there we go. A little bit of pressure, a little bit of flexion on your low back. So yeah, the, the set is like 98% done. But we're still working on a couple of fine tuning details. If you've ever been involved in any type of renovation, construction, you know the drill. It looks done. There's still just like tiny things to touch up on. Okay, tuck your toes down, lift your hips up. Draw your heels down to the floor. So if you randomly see me brushing off my mat, <laughs> it's probably me just dragging dust onto it. Walk back to your toes. Good, lengthen your spine here. If you need to put your hands on your shins, give me a nice long spine. Exhale, roll it up. Great job. And I want you to know how thankful and proud I am of you, for you today. Big deep breath. I can tell you this week has been one of the most exhausting weeks we've had in a very long time, which we expected, which we are blessed to say. Dustin and I are, it's in a position where we're so happy to be so tired, if that makes sense. We're so happy to be in the position where we can renovate here, we can do things exciting for you guys, and we'll never complain about being able to level up with our community. I never, ever will complain about that. So just know, if you show up on days, you're tired, you don't feel like 100%, you don't feel like optimum version of yourself, it's okay, it's fine. We're all human, we're all going through different things, different times, we're all going through it. We're living life, okay? And that's kinda the part of life that we wish we could fix and we wish we could make everything perfect and sustainable and predictable, but we can't. But we can be adaptable to what's happening, be flexible to our schedules if we need to, okay? Everything is about perception. If you perceive everything as coming to you and happening to you and coming at you, it will feel like you're a victim constantly. It will always feel like, woe is me, right? It will feel like everything bad is happening to you, which I get, there are bad times, and I will never take that away, but what we can think about is, how can we perceive what's coming at us? Can we say, okay, this is happening, how do I move forward? Instead of saying, oh my gosh, please stop, not me, I don't deserve this, 100% you don't deserve anything bad to happen to you, but you can take what happens to you and flip your perception to how do I respond? What am I giving back to the situation? What kind of energy am I yielding from what's coming at me? And if you think positive, if you think what's my next step, if you think react, be flexible, be thankful, I promise you this journey will be a lot easier, okay? I could have easily complained the whole workout today about how tired I am, but the truth is I'm blessed to be here with you today, to be with our community all over the world, right here, right now, and every day. And if it weren't for you guys, we would have no reason to do this, right? So I thank you, I'm very grateful for you for pushing me to be my best self, for challenging Dustin and I constantly to level up. We're forever grateful for you guys. So make sure everything that comes at you, you take it, you perceive it, and then you push out the energy that you wanna keep. I'm thankful, I'm grateful, I'm tired, yes, but I'm blessed to be here, okay? All right, big deep breath. We're thankful for the day, we're grateful for each other, and we're blessed to have this opportunity to crush our day. So make sure before you head out today, you think about life in that way. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and let's keep rocking together each day, okay? I love you, thank you for everything, have an awesome day.